Is that you making all the noise? Holy! Holy! Oh my God! Holy! Stop! Ah! Stop! Go! 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 Wow, that is the video that started it all. A brick flying across the room in the original award-winning Ghost Adventures documentary. It is so intense. And that it is. Zach Bagans, Nick Groff, and Aaron Goodwin continue to mount evidence of the paranormal, proving that ghosts really do exist. And they take us to some of the scariest places in the world every Friday on the Travel Channel. And Halloween, of course, just around the corner, so we thought it was appropriate to talk to these guys. But really, ghost stories aren't just for fun. This is your life. In fact, you guys don't just, like, videotape paranormal experiences. You actually get in there and rile them up. What's the absolute scariest moment you've ever experienced while doing this? Didn't you just hear my scream? You just aired it. <laughs> I think you did hear that for sure. You had to start off with my loudest scream in the five, six, seven years we've been doing this. So that was real then. <laughs> no, it's, um, it, it's you know, there, there's haunted places. You know, you go to a bed and breakfast, and, and there's a calm haunting. She likes to fluffle your pillow when you sleep. But then you can go to places that are demonic, like Bobby Mackey's Music World or... This Friday's episode of Ghost Adventures is one that will make you cry, will make you tremble, and uh, may make you, you know, turn the lights on. Um, there's places like that that are dark, sometimes demonic, and that's where everything changes. The parameters of the investigation changes, and that's when you really need to put your shield up and be very, very, very careful. And uh, right now I'm dealing with something called an attachment. Attachments aren't that fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what exactly is uh, that attachment you're talking about? Uh, well, we've been to a couple places that are very demonic. And, um, you know, when you stir up things that you don't really understand, you can get an attachment. And like in this Friday's episode, there's an attachment by a guy we interviewed, Dave. And uh, a spirit or a demonic entity can cling itself to you like a spider web. You know, once you hit that... That webbing, that, that demon will latch on to you and will follow you. And that's where it can get very, very uh, difficult. I want to also ask the other guys as well, though. Were you guys ever skeptics? I mean, were you always believers in the paranormal, or did you have to be convinced? I wouldn't say we, uh, we were, like, for me personally, I wasn't a skeptic, but I was more of a logical thinker trying to wrap my head around what is happening, what am I communicating with. You know, when you get an intelligent voice that comes through on your digital recorder when there's nothing being said, white noise, and you get this voice that bursts through on a frequency, and you hear your own name being said, Nick Groff. You know, that freaks me out. I can't wrap my head around something like that. So I'm more of an open-minded person who is trying to understand what we're actually dealing with on the other side, or what happens after you die. How about you, Aaron? Uh, I never really believed in ghosts or thought twice about them until uh, the documentary, when we did the documentary, and that's when all hell broke loose for me. Yeah. We forced them into the world of ghosts. <laughs> Pretty much. We it's forced them into the world of it ghosts. It sounds like guys, uh, you did. Well, speaking of this premiere Friday, you go to a place that essentially was a, it was a torture chamber for a lot yeah. of folks while they were alive as a psych ward. Yeah. Were you afraid of physical violence? Because you have been scratched before by demonic yeah. presence. I mean, you guys could have been killed. Could well, the, you? Have, I mean, the big question is though. You've got a place like Letchworth Village that we that you'll see this Friday on this Friday's episode. And Letchworth, um, you know, Mother Nature is trying to consume it now. You go there and there's just plants and trees and vines just trying to take back this, this bad creation of humanity and consume it back into the ground where it belongs. But that energy that harbored in that location was so bad, was so evil, that even one of the, care, uh, the nurses that we interviewed, she was in tears just talking about what she witnessed back then. And it was very much like Penhurst, what we investigated. It was a torture chamber, just like as you said. But the real question is, is what resides there now? If there are intelligent spirits still there, why would they stay there? But when we go there, it seems there's darker energy there. The big question is, is trying to find out whether or not these demons are feeding off of that residual energy that was there. All that pain, all that torture, that's their ballpark. That's what they like. That's what they, they breathe in. And when you go there and you stir that nest up, you better damn well be ready for what can happen to you. 
And this Friday's episode is a very good case in, in what you can see what happens. It, it, it's a very emotional uh, uh, investigation this Friday on the Travel Channel. I All right, guys, wait. we will be checking it out for sure. But, 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 but lock the doors before you walk. <laughs> Mary Beth, if you ever want to come in investigation, Mary Beth, we'll, we'll have you there. Alex, you uh, too. Yeah. I appreciate okay. that, guys. I'll go behind Alex. Okay. Right. I'll use him as my shield. Thank you. All right, guys, you. thank you, you so there. much. All right, good wow. to see you guys. we got to talk to them for I a while. I know.